got rather too many uh, cars projects laying around in the house now that I haven't been using so I've decided to salvage the chassis off of this um, it was a mouse trap car now I've already done the salvaging but I put it back together just so you can see what I did obviously that was the mouse trap that was mounted on the chassis there I used um, a hair dryer to heat up the hot glue to release it rather than trying to cut it off um, it worked <laughs> probably not as well as I thought it would but it did work same with the front I had to heat up the hot glue on the wheels to actually release it so now I've got a I think they'd call it an H frame chassis that I'm now going to try and use for another crawler bot. Uh, I've failed every time so far but I've got another idea so I will be trying to make a crawler bot based on this plastic chassis. Um, for those of you who haven't watched all my other videos, and I don't blame you, there's hundreds of them, um, this is plastic conduit, um, oval shaped conduit it's the sort of stuff that electricians use for putting power cables in uh, into the wall before they plaster over it. So it just happens to be nice lightweight plastic and I've got quite a lot of it. Uh, the cross members are ball pen tubes, all hot glued in place. And it gives a fairly rigid, fairly light structure. Um, so that's what I'm going to use to try and make my next crawler bot. Another couple of items harvested from one of my other cars. These plywood um, T-pieces fit into the oval tubing so that I can use them to bank the axles. It's convenient because it means you can take them out again and interchange them with some other size axle. It's just a convenient way of playing around with the axles without having to unglue it again. So I'm going to use them. Right, we're not having very much success today. Let's just adjust the lighting a bit. What I think I might do before I give up for the rest of the day is try offsetting a CD on there so as it goes round it will well it will be offset <laughs> so um, just out of interest see what happens hot glue gun Okay, I've mounted my wheels offset or off center, wound them up, Let's see how far we can go like this. to my kitchen. Let's turn that round. Wind it up again. Right, there we are, back into my kitchen. Offset wheels. Hmm. Now into my conservatory, which wasn't quite intended. So we're <laughs> a bit of a cross here, a cross between a a crawler and an ordinary wheeled 
vehicle. Does it count as a crawler? Not really, but it's getting closer to the principle. OK, test run. I've played around with him a little bit to make him look interesting, or at least funny. Um, this is my crawler bot. Very simple now. Rubber band. Um, cam made out of CDs to give the crawling effect. I'm using pencil top rubbers just to support him when he's not crawling. So let's wind him up and see how far we can go. The target is to try and get the length of my kitchen. So we'll see, see what we can do. Off we go. Hardened you the length of the kitchen. Let's try winding them up a bit further. Right, let's have a go. Oh, just touches the end. <laughs> 